Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to your Lionsgate Portal Yoga class. My name is Natasha, also known as Nurse Natasha. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. I just wanted to put out this special little class for you guys because I love the Lionsgate. And if you're like, Natasha, what's the Lionsgate? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you. Um, the Lionsgate is a celestial astrological, you know, manifestation portal event that happens on August 8th. Um, the Lionsgate portal is actually open from the end of July to like the beginning, like mid-August. Um, but it, what astrologically what's happening is in Leo season, the sun is in Leo. And then our spiritual sun, the star Sirius, aligns with the sun in Leo and creates this manifestation portal. Now, you know, it doesn't really matter if you believe in it or not. Maybe you just want to have some fun. Maybe you like just want to check it out, see what it's all about. But for me personally... I pretty, manif pretty much manifested everything I wanted in the past year, the last time we had the Lionsgate portal last year, which also coincided with the Leo new moon. Now we just had our Leo new moon. Um, and so this Lionsgate portal isn't conjunct with the Leo new moon this year. However, it's still very powerful for manifestation. I remember last year under the Lionsgate portal, I manifested hosting my yoga retreats, my witchcraft and wellness retreats. I manifested, you know, the success on YouTube, a YouTube membership, and those are all things that I have now. So I manifested my dream car. Again, I have it. So, you know, I just think that it doesn't matter if you're into like the witchy woo woo stuff, you know, what, what have you got to lose by just trying it? And uh, we're going to tap into that energy. So uh, let's see what else I have. <laughs> my notebook here is actually being held open by my giant honey calcite crystal, you know, just to tap into that abundance energy. Golden yellow crystals are great for abundance of so citrine, honey calcite. Um, carnelian is also great for that kind of passion, attraction energy. Um, it does take place on August 8th. It is known as the luckiest day of the year. So it's the time to, you know, just put those, put those manifestations out there, put those goals out there, put those dreams out there and they will come back to you. Um, and the reason why August 8th is the activation day of the Lionsgate portal is because of numerology. So it is the eighth day of the eighth month of the year. So 88 or 888, um, the angel number is the number of abundance and... Like I said, it is the sun and Sirius, our spiritual sun. Um, and it's, again, it's in Leo season. So it's time to embrace that Leo energy of confidence, of moving, moving forward with your goals and dreams confidently, um, dreaming big, taking, I put take center stage, <laughs> and alignment. Again, this is an astrological alignment. It is just time to align with your highest self. I like the term favorite self. So, um, you know, I think because sometimes the term highest self, we kind of set you know, kind of goals or dreams based on what we think our highest self is supposed to be. Rather, our favorite self is like what we truly want to be, what we truly want to do. So I encourage you to think of it that way. What is the dream life that I want? What am I trying to manifest? What goals am I setting? How do I want my life to look one year from now? What do I want to accomplish in the next year? This is the time to dream big and to just put it all out there and just send that energy out and it's it, it'll come back. What you put out comes back. So that's what this Lionsgate portal is all about. And I think that's all I wanted to say about it. We're going to get started, my friends. We're actually going to get started standing. Oh, the last thing I wrote was um, the, the chakras that it taps into. Leo does rule the heart and the body. So we're going to be working a bit on the heart. We're also going to be working on that crown chakra because, you know, Leo season. And we're, it also does tap into the third eye chakra. So the Lionsgate portal, also in the spiritual world, is kind of known for a lot of downloads, a lot of psychic energy, um, just a lot of stuff happening. So you can tap into that third eye chakra as well. So we are going to get started standing at the top of our mat. Now, standing in mountain pose Tadasana, I want you to find a, a position that works best for you and your body. So you can keep the feet hip distance. You can go a little bit wider if that feels good. And just setting yourself up for success here and standing proudly standing tall again embodying that confidence that leo confidence and just kind of walking into this lionsgate portal like what have i got to lose what have i got to lose what if everything turn out turns out even better than i expect it to right so we're standing on the top of our mat in our tadasana mountain pose hands are at either side of you palms are facing forward with really active hands active fingers here kind of like you're shooting energy out of your palms and again, we're standing tall, so like someone's pulling a string from the top of your head, lift that chin, 
kind of maybe just puff that chest out just a little. I don't want you to super arch here. I just want you to stand tall, proud, like that Leo, that lion energy. You can keep your eyes open or closed here, whatever feels good for you. And I just want you to bring your awareness to your breath. I want you to start to notice as it goes in and out through your nose. Not changing anything about it just yet, just using your breath to bring you to the right here, right now. To your mat, to this present moment. On the inhale, maybe you notice the shoulders rise, the chest expand, the belly expand. And on the exhale, a gentle release. And as you continue to lengthen and elongate these inhales and exhales, you start to bring your awareness inward. Start to take inventory of the mind, the body, the soul, the spirit. And what I want you to ask yourself here is, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want my life to look like? What do my biggest goals, biggest dreams look like? What do I want to invite into my life? What do I want to attract? into my life again think mind body soul physical mental emotional spiritual all the things what does my highest favorite self look like tapping in a bit to visualization here imagining that person that you want to be and again it's not just physical it's not just what they look like or the physical things that they have, you know, those goals, those dreams of maybe a career or a home or a family or a dream car or a dream house or whatever it is. It's how you feel. It's that fire inside of you, that passion, that joy, that happiness, that abundance, that feeling of fulfillment. So as you visualize those things, those details of what you want, what you're inviting in, Allow yourself to fill up with that warmth and fill up with that abundance, that attraction. I like to visualize it as kind of like a golden, just warmth filling up my whole body, a golden light. Maybe imagining it shooting out from that heart center, that heart chakra. And just take this moment to claim that, claim whatever it is you are inviting in whatever you are manifesting. Claim it right now. I claim blank. I claim whatever it is because it is yours. You can say it out loud if that feels good. And we'll seal this with the breath, taking a big inhale in through the nose, filling up the chest, filling up the belly, taking up space. Open mouth, exhale. One more just like that, really big inhale in. I want you to take up space, let your goals, let your dreams take up space, make them big. Open mouth, exhale. There's no more playing it small here, my friends. We're playing it big, we're going big time. I want those goals, those dreams to be big, to be huge. Don't let your dreams be dreams. And we'll start to invite in some movement here. You can gently open your eyes if they're closed. We're gonna tap into that, first that Leo energy. We're gonna do some sun salutations. Leo is ruled by the sun. And then we're also going to tap into that heart chakra and our crown chakra. So on the inhale, you're gonna reach the arms up overhead, really reaching for that sun. Exhale, bending the elbows, kind of cactus arm, goalpost arms here, opening up the heart, leaning the head back. Inhale, reach up, and you're going to make a crown with your hands. So we're going to find a lotus mudra. So bringing our pinkies to touch and our thumbs to touch. The rest of our fingers are outstretched. This is our crown. 
We're inhaling here. Exhale, just drop that crown to your head. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, gently fold over the legs. Allow yourself to ragdoll here. You can gently sway from side to side. Finding a release here in the low back and the hamstrings. You can grab for opposite elbows. Gently find stillness. You can bring the hands to your shins or to blocks, press into them. Inhale for a halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. And exhale those hands to your heart center. We're going to do that sun salutation two more times. Inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, goal post or cactus the arms, lifting the chin, opening up the heart. Inhale, reach, find that lotus mudra, pinkies touch, thumbs touch. Exhale, drop that crown to your head. Inhale, reach. And exhale, fold and release. Take a moment here. Gently find stillness. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, goal post the arms, open the heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, find that crown, drop it to your head. Inhale, reach. And exhale, fold. Taking Another moment here, a gentle sway, a gentle release. Find stillness, inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You can gently place the hands either on blocks or onto your mat. And I just slowly want you to bend into one knee, to bend into the other, coming down to hands and knees, taking your time, moving gently. You can place some extra support like a pillow or a blanket under your knees if that feels good. Now in our tabletop, shoulder, elbow, wrist are stacked. Hips are stacked over the knees. And we're gonna find our cat-cow flow here. So we're going to inhale, lift the chin, open the chest, arching the back, kind of sticking that booty out. I really want you to focus on that heart opening here. Exhale, round, dropping chin to chest, doming out the shoulders. Inhale to open. And exhale to round. Now, I want you to listen to your body here and find your flow. So maybe that means kind of taking it from side to side, maybe finding some full body circles. Finding your cat-cow flow for five to seven breaths. I mean, what feels good in your body. And as you flow here, I want you to remember your breath. I want you to remember to open that heart and kind of let that gold light shine right out of your heart. And as you flow and breathe, just tapping in again to that energy of what do you want? Allow yourself to visualize as you move. Allow this to be a moving meditation, a moving manifestation. Filling yourself up with that feeling of having everything that you want. Finishing up this last round, gently coming back to a neutral spine. Now we're going to do some balancing here. We're going to get some fire in our bellies, fire up this core just a little bit. So let me give you some options here. We're going to start with the right arm and the left leg. Now you can do one or the other or both. So just start with lifting that right arm 
extending it straight out. See how that feels. If you're like, okay, I got, I can do a little more, maybe extend that left leg. Active toes, active fingers. See if this feels good, or again, just do one or the other. We're gonna inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze it in, bend the elbow to the knee like you're trying to touch them, crunching it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze, two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, really squeeze. Inhale. And exhale, release. We'll take it to the other side. So again, left arm, right leg. Take a second to just kind of play around, see what feels good if I want to do one, or both, active hands, active toes, active feet. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch and squeeze it in. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze, last one. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, really squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. We're just putting some fuel, some fire behind those dreams, those goals, those manifestations. Now we're gonna work on a tiger pose here. So option to continue to do just what we were doing, starting with the right arm extended just doing the arm. So we're gonna start with that right arm extending out. Option two, reach it back behind you. And I'm kind of gazing over my right shoulder here, opening up my heart. Option to hang out right here. Option to reach for the left foot. Now you can use a strap here, wrapping a strap around that left foot. You can kind of reach around, grabbing the top of that left foot with your hand and using that foot to pull that right shoulder open, pressing the top of the foot into the hand to really open up that heart. You're also opening up the quad here. Again, you can use a strap. You can also grab that strap over, over the shoulder instead of around. Take your time here, play around with this. Again, you can stay here with the right arm extended or perhaps just extending the right arm back, gazing over the shoulder. See how that feels. And then maybe you start to play around with the bind. Taking your time, finding your breath. And when you're ready to release, we're gonna do so gently, no slingshots here. So gently releasing the foot, releasing the hand and shaking it out. All right, we'll take it to the other side. Again, this is our tiger pose. Not exactly a line, but you know, a big cat. We gotta incorporate that into this class. So going to the left side, extending that left arm out. Maybe hanging out here, really keeping the chin lifted, the chest open. Maybe reaching that left arm back again, opening the heart. Maybe playing around with this bind. Again, using the strap if you need to. Pressing the top of the foot into the hand, gazing over that shoulder, and really extending, trying to keep that heart open wherever you are. Take your time, play around with it. Listen to your body, find your edge. Remember that everyone's yoga looks different and it's called yoga practice, not yoga perfect. And when you're ready to release, doing so gently, no slingshots, releasing down, and just shaking it out a little bit. All right, my friends, when you're ready, we're gonna lower to our bellies. Nice and slow, take your time here. All right, we're getting deep into this heart chakra because that is what our Leo's rule, my friends, is that heart. 
So we're going to place the hands underneath the shoulders. Elbows are going to squeeze into your sides. We're laying on our bellies. We're going to flow through some low cobra here. So on the inhale, lift the head, the chest, the shoulders. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift, open that heart. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift and open the heart. Chin is really lifted. Exhale, release. Now we're going to find our Sphinx pose. So I'm coming to my forearms, extending my forearms in front of me, pressing my palms and my forearms into the mat. Pressing those shoulders down and away from my ears, lifting the chin, opening up the heart. Again, imagine just being very proud here. It's a very proud stance, like a proud sphinx. Option two, shake that head from side to side here. Get into that cervical spine just a bit. Gently release back to center. Now option to stay here in your Sphinx pose or option if you'd like to find a high cobra, you can press the palms into the mat, straighten those arms. Chin is lifted, chest is lifted. Gently walking the hands back until they're underneath your shoulders. Again, shoulders pressed down and away from the ears. Chin lifted, chest is open. Imagine that golden light kind of beaming out of your chest, that pride those goals, those dreams, the power shooting out straight from your heart. Taking a big inhale here. Exhale, find your child's pose, knees as wide as the mat, sinking hips back to your heels, releasing down, releasing that heart down to the mat. Option here, if you would like to bend at the elbows, finding that lotus crown mudra, and just bringing it to the top of your head. So we're opening the heart and tapping into the crown and even tapping into the third eye here. Your forehead is touching the mat. That's our third eye chakra. And I want you to breathe here. I want you to breathe deeply in this posture. And I want you to bring it back to that visualization. What does your dream life look like? What does your ideal self look like? What does your highest favorite self look like? And more than that, how does it feel? Allow yourself to be filled with that feeling of joy, abundance, happiness, Fulfillment. And we'll seal it all with some deep breaths, taking a big inhale in through the nose, filling up chest, filling up belly, taking up space. Open mouth, exhale. One more really big inhale in through the nose again. Taking up space, allowing those goals, those dreams to just be as big as possible. Open mouth, exhale. You can gently release your hands if they're over your head. And on the next inhale, gently pressing up and then releasing back down to the belly. Now we're going to play around with a bow pose here floor bow. So again, I encourage you to use that strap. You can use a towel or a blanket as well. If you don't have a strap, we're just going to play around here. We're going to open that heart and just tap into that heart chakra. So starting, I'm going to start with the left so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to bring my right forearm across the mat. So I'm kind of propping myself up with that right forearm. I'm going to bend my left knee so my foot is coming up towards my butt. I'm going to gaze over my left shoulder. I'm going to reach that right arm back. Option to stay right here. 
You do not even have to make that bind. Option to make that bind. So you can wrap that strap around your foot and then pull on the strap, or you can reach around and grab a hold of the top of that foot. Again, you do not have to find the bind. Listening to your body, finding your edge. Now what we're going to do is on the inhale, really press the top of that foot into the hand and almost lift up off the mat. So for example, I inhale and I really open my heart to gaze over my left shoulder, really pressing up. And then I exhale, release. And of course, if you don't have that bind, you're just gonna really try to inhale, open the heart. We're gonna do that two more times on this side. We inhale, really press, reach, gaze over that shoulder, open the heart. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale, really open, pressing that foot into that hand, opening the heart. Exhale, release, no slingshots, release that foot gently. We'll take it to the other side. So my left arm now is coming kind of diagonally across the mat to crop myself up. I'm gazing now over my right shoulder, pointing those toes back towards my butt. Maybe I just reach that right arm back. Maybe I use my strap. Maybe I grab the top of that foot. And on the inhale, we're gonna open up. So nice big inhale, press the, the top of that foot into that palm, gazing over the shoulder, opening the heart. Exhale, release down. Inhale, really open. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, press. Lifting up, opening up the heart. And exhale, release, no slingshots here, release that foot. Now, option to repeat either side one time, or option to play around with a full floor bow. Again, you can use a strap here. It just takes a little finagling to wrap the strap around both of your feet. You can use two separate straps. Or, again, you can just do one side at a time. If you'd like to play around the full floor bow, let's see if I can, I don't even know if I can reach both feet. We're gonna play around with it, we're gonna see. All right. So, your hands are on the tops of your feet. On the inhale, you're gonna press up, lifting the chin, opening the heart, opening up that chest. So on the inhale, lift. Maybe you're just doing one side. Exhale, release. Last time here, inhale, lift. And exhale, release, no slingshots. Whew, I don't do that pose very often, friends but it just feels very powerful to me, a major heart opener. So you can release here, bring those arms to cross in front of you. You can release your chin or your forehead to your forearms. And we're gonna bend those, both those knees back towards our butt. We just rock them from side to side. Just a release here for that low back. All right, my friends, gently come to stillness, release those legs down. You can slowly press yourself up to the hands and knees. Again, you can sit on a pillow or a blanket here underneath the knees. We're gonna do some lion's breath. Of course, it's a lion's gate class. We have to do some lion's breath here. This is a pranayama technique, a breath control technique that just kind of builds that fire opens the heart and lets you kind of roar. It looks silly, sounds silly, but sometimes I feel like what stops us from doing what we want to do, from pursuing our dreams and pursuing those goals and those manifestations is the fear of looking stupid or looking silly. And we're going to get that out of the way. So um, you can do this seated on your butt, uh, legs extended, however feels comfortable for you. I'm going to sit on my bent legs. I'm sitting on my heels. My knees are bent, my knees are open because my hands are going to come down in between my legs. So I'm like, I'm lying on Pride Rock, right? <laughs> That's the vibe. So 
My chin is lifted, chest is lifted, shoulders are pressed down and away from the ears, pressing my chest out. I'm gonna demo what it looks like here. So you take a really big inhale in, and then when you exhale, the tongue comes out and you essentially roar. So I'm gonna demo this once, then we're gonna do it three times together. So big inhale in through the nose, and then open mouth, exhale, tongue comes out, roar. Just like that. Now I can't open my mouth very wide because I just had four wisdom teeth pulled. I'm gonna do my best, but really open that mouth wide, stick that tongue out and roar. So we're gonna do this three times. Big inhale in through the nose, filling up chest, filling up belly. Open mouth, exhale, roar. <sighs> Try to make it super audible. Big inhale in, filling up chest, filling up belly, taking up space. Open mouth, exhale, roar. <sighs> Last one. Make this your biggest, loudest one yet. Big inhale in through the nose, filling up, filling up a little more. And open mouth roar. And gently release. Let your breath return to normal. And you can take a seat, any seat that is comfortable, or you can lay down or take child's pose, anything that feels comfortable for you and your body, we're going to breathe and do a little manifestation, meditation together, a little visualization. So find a place that is comfortable for you to breathe for a bit. Remember that easy seated pose means something different for everyone. And again, you can lay down if you'd like. I encourage you to have those palms facing up to receive. Then you can close the eyes if it feels good. Now, we're going to bring our awareness to our breath. Now make sure you keep that chin lifted, that chest open, like someone's pulling a string from the top of your head. Again, very proud, very lion-like stance here. And bringing the awareness to the breath. Noticing what happens in the body as we breathe, maybe inhale, shoulders rise, chest expand, belly expands. And exhale, a gentle release. Deepening and lengthening those inhales and exhales. And the count is through some five part breathing. So just listen to my voice and breathe with me. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. You can continue these long, deep inhales and exhales. I want you to bring your awareness to your heart, your heart chakra, your Anahata chakra. I want you to visualize that golden light starting to become brighter in that heart space. It's getting bigger, it's getting brighter until it's just radiating out of that heart. And allow that golden light to fill up your entire body, your entire being, your entire space. It feels warm, abundant, joyful, happy like the sun card in tarot, it's the happiest card in the deck. And now as that golden light kind of starts to dissipate and kind of starts to dissolve, the picture revealed behind it is your dream, your goal, that dream life, ideal self, highest self, favorite self, that thing that you really want, whatever it is, that's the picture that's becoming clearer as this gold light starts to dissipate. 
and you can see it as clear as day. You can see the details, what it is, what it looks like, what it smells like, what it sounds like. As if it was already here, as if it was already yours, as if it were real. Notice all the details from big to small. And more importantly, notice how you feel seeing this thing or person or yourself as your highest self, as your favorite self. How does it feel? Maybe it feels, you feel a little tingly, you feel a little excited or maybe nervous or anxious, that's okay. Feel joyful, abundant, happy, grateful, a little scared, all valid feeling. I just want you to fill yourself up with how that feels and take that with you into this Lionsgate portal and claim it because it is yours. If you'd like to say out loud, I claim whatever it is you can, speak it into existence. I encourage you to journal it, write that in your journal after this class, I claim blank. We'll seal this with a breath, big inhale in through the nose, filling up chest, filling up belly, taking up space. Open mouth, exhale. Bring your awareness back into your space and back into your body. Maybe a gentle wiggle of the toes or wiggle of the fingers. Maybe gently rolling out the wrists or rolling out the ankles. Bring your awareness back into this space. You can open your eyes when you're ready and come back to us. And that is all I have for you for this Lionsgate class, my lovelies. I just wanted to put out something for manifestation and abundance for you. And yeah, I would love to hear what you are manifesting. Um, please put it in the comments, let me know. And don't forget to journal after this. Definitely get your journal on, write down what you, what you are claiming. I encourage you to take it out of your journal and fold it in towards you, right? We're claiming stuff towards us. You can put a crystal on it, citrine or carnelian or just a quartz or anything that you have. You can put it under your pillow. You can put it on your altar. You can burn it, right? We're going to have that fire energy of Leo. Whatever feels right to do with it, do that. And yeah, if you enjoy these classes, I have a membership here on YouTube with live yoga classes every week, live tarot readings. We have a tarot challenge happening right now. We got some yoga challenges happening. It's only $9.99 a month. You can join anytime. I just click in that join button. I have yoga courses. I have witchcraft and wellness retreats. I have coaching. I have everything. So um, if you'd like any of that, the links are in the description box below. And I just encourage you to just put yourself out there. Um, people always ask me like, like, how do you do this? This is my full-time job, right? It's crazy. Like, I just, you just got to do it. You got to take up that space. You got to do the thing. And I'm here to tell you that it is entirely possible for you to do the thing. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying that I haven't been through some ups and downs. Um, but you can do whatever it is you put your mind to. Like, I'm living proof of that. So go do the thing and let me know what the thing is. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I will see you guys for the full moon in Aquarius class. I do classes for every new moon and full moon and workshops if you're in the membership. So I will see you there, my lovelies. Have a wonderful Lionsgate portal and may you manifest everything that you desire. I'll see you next time.